Hey, good morning. Home from the night shift, and I had actually been uh, wanting to put this video out. I did some overtime this weekend, so I was kind of busy. Um, but it was an article that I had came across about a week or so previously, and I did want to discuss this. Uh, as I don't think I've come across this, I have not received any of this sort of information. You know, obviously, uh, at the hospital level, kind of the information that we get is typically the generic, you know, vaccines, amazing, come get your shot sort of uh, information. But there's a lot of information that is out there that, of course, especially with this particular video that men should keep in mind. And of course, this is as of NBC Miami. It says University of Miami study finds the potential for uh, C-19 has on male fertility. It says, during autopsies of six men who died of the virus, researchers found uh, some of the men had impaired sperm function and later found the virus had invaded uh, testes tissue. So according to some of these doctors, and you're, we're going to hear this name here in another article, who is a lead uh, director and neurologist, right? So he is the doctor that typically studies uh, reproductive organs and their function. And of course, going into an article. So later on, there is another article here um, from this is from the Journal on Geopolitics and International Relations. And in talking about what they were talking about here at Miami University, it says, um, Free sperm before the C vaccine to protect fertility, says University of Miami. And this came out back in December 25th of 2020. It says researchers at the University of Miami have recommended men to have a fertility examination before receiving the vaccine and to consider to freezing their sperm before, before vaccination in order to protect uh, their fertility. It says the University of Miami is investigating the possible effects of the virus of the vaccine on male fertility. And of course, there's that lead director of urology mentioned in the previous uh, article here from my uh, University of Miami. It says that spurred on his team to question, of course, the virus effect on sperm and, re and reproduction. His team is now looking at the potential impact of the vaccine as well. And of course, there's another New York doctor here that I follow on on Twitter and someone had posted this exact same thing that, you know, to protect, um, to protect facilities, some men may want to consider freezing their sperm prior to vaccination. And this actually came out as a result of one second, uh, right here. So this was local 10 news again, talking about something very similar study investigates uh, effect of C-19 vaccine on male fertility. And of course, these are multiple, I guess, multiple news outlets that are basically talking about the exact same thing. University of Miami uh, doing this sort of an investigation. We see that again, same doctor. So we're seeing multiple sources um, talking about this. I did want to bring it up. It is something, of course, that you should speak with your physician. It's, it's uh, you know, I think overwhelmingly most of the information that I have heard from like other women, for example, who are of childbearing years and overwhelmingly all they say is, you know, that, that it's OK, don't worry about it. You know, there's no chances, but there are actually no studies. And when you actually look at the, the data, the data that came out from like Pfizer, Moderna, openly they state that there is no data in connection with issues with fertility, right? Which of course can lead, uh, which of course can lead to things like birth defects. And of course, for many who have forgotten, there were previous vaccines in the past that were deemed safe, but of course later revealed um, that these individuals, you know, they gave birth to children who had birth defects. And of course, I know numerous individuals, I'm sure you've heard on, you know, like on the TV or in like old sort of commercials, you know, in the middle of night, if you took this drug, you know, during this time, you know, during this time period, you know, you may be entitled to, uh, you know, to, to damages, et cetera. And so it's important to speak about these things, to ask the hard questions of what's the information regarding is there any information? Is anyone doing sort of research and follow up? Um, because it, it is important that you, of course, take this into consideration. Most importantly, I would say, especially whether or not you're someone 
who maybe wants to have children. I've spoken to some other men at the hospital and they're like, hey, great. Uh, I don't want kids anyway, so this is just fine. But if you're someone who does believe in the Bible, you know, the Bible in terms of speaking about these things that God, of course, there are numerous scriptures that touch on reproduction and the value that God had given individuals, especially uh, men and women for the ability to reproduce. And it's not something that we should just, you know, throw away, you know, willy nilly without doing our due diligence when it comes to these things. One of the examples talked about in the book of Deuteronomy, it says, when a man, it says, when men fight with another and the wife of the one draws near to rescue her husband from the hand of him who is beating him and puts out and puts out her hand and seizes him by his private parts, it says, then you shall cut off her hand, your eye shall not feel pity. And of course, back in biblical times, there was the whole eye for an eye. You know, if you put out the eye of an individual, you would have your eye put out, etc. If you uh, caused, you know, the death of someone, then you yourself would be put to death for the crime of killing someone. But in this instance, where it's particularly talking about, you know, where two men are getting involved, and then the wife of one reaches out, she seizes one of the men who, that is attacking her husband by the testicles. And of course, she damages those testicles so that he can no longer reproduce. And so the Bible doesn't say that as a result of her, you know, basically destroying his ability to reproduce, that she should then have her ability to reproduce also taken away from her. This is actually the one instance where that part of the scripture doesn't basically go as an eye for an eye sort of thing. Um, and so it's really important to keep this part in mind for those, of course, who do read the Bible and those who are Christians, um, that even God in, in this instance, and this is taken from the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, for so this is, I guess, the Old Testament or the Hebrew scriptures. And so it goes to show that even in this instance, that God still viewed the woman's ability to bear children, that that isn't something that should have, that should be de destroyed. In fact, Often the Bible talks about when it comes to things like mutilation, it speaks openly against these things. And so I really did want to talk about this. I thought this was something that was, of course, interesting as a nurse because I haven't heard of this, you know, outside of doing my own sort of research, much of the information that I've come across, I have not received at the hospital level in any way, shape or form. I've listened to uh, the different information they usually have like these little videos and all the information is just very generic like they're literally reading from the pamphlet sent to them you know by pfizer or by moderna themselves they're all these very genetic uh, uh, information and then when you start to press them on in, on in information they usually say or we don't know or that they'll just outright give misinformation that you know that the company states you know that you know this is not a this is not a risk, etc. Uh, even though Pfizer themselves has openly stated that they've done no clinical trials and, of course, done any research when it comes to birth defects because the virus, the vaccine was uh, rushed out. Just really wanted to, to release this out there. It is information, especially for men. I believe there was no impact so far from what I have read uh, in terms of uh, impacting, you know, females ability to reproduce. But as the doctor had stated, I'll leave the links for all of these articles so that you can look them up yourself and you can read them and do your own research. Uh, so far, all the only people that I've heard that have had so, any sort of an impact, of course, um, is men dealing with both the virus as well as the vaccine. Something to consider, uh, of course, for those who are interested in taking the vaccine.